Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter and in this video I'm going to show you how to send full length videos via WhatsApp. Let's get started. The problem with sending a video on WhatsApp is the same old size limit which is 16 megabytes. Now, 16 megabytes is really not a lot, especially today when everything is measured in gigabytes and terabytes when it comes to video recording. Just to put it in perspective for you, a 4K video, which is like standard nowadays, begins somewhere around 100 megabytes per second. So what do you do on WhatsApp when it comes to sending a video that's larger than 16 megabytes? Well, you have to cut the end and you have to cut the beginning and then this is what you have left. <laughs> it basically kills the entire idea of sending a video. And people do like sending videos on WhatsApp because it's an end-to-end -end encrypted messaging system. Fortunately, just like to almost everything, there's a solution here as well. It's called the compressor tool within the Uniconverter. It's right over here. It's a highly efficient tool because it compresses your video file into a smaller size without quality loss. And you can also compress multiple files at the same time. So without any further ado, let me show you how to compress video files so you could send them in full length on WhatsApp. First of all, open up the Uniconverter. Select the compressor either from the home page or from the tools menu on the left side. Import your files. You have the option to batch compress files, so if you have multiple files to compress, you can do that. Click on the settings icon. Here select the compression rate. Up there you can see the output size of the file. This file is originally 100 megabytes, so we have to take the size down so it could fit in the 16 megabytes limit. Within the advanced settings, make sure to have the variable bitrate selected. This method will decrease the size and keep the quality. Down here, select an output folder and then click on compress. After the process is finished, you will find your compressed file within the finished tab. If you click on the folder icon, it will open up the folder that contains your file. As you can see, our file is now 16 megabytes, and if you open it up, you will see that it has the same quality as the original one. And that's it! Super easy, right? If you liked this video or found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel with the notifications turned on so you never miss a new upload. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below, we're happy to answer. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching again and I'm gonna see you in the next video.